Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about the Freeman's Renewing Cucumber Peel Off Gel Mask. So I really love this line of facial masks. They have several different kinds. So today I'm doing the cucumber one. I used this one for the first time a couple of weeks ago and I really really love it. It's become one of my go-to just in the past couple of weeks. Go-to face masks so that it intensifies, refreshes, and clarifies for rejuvenated skin. And it says easy to peel mask, which it is easy. It is, it's not one that you put on your face and then wash off. You have to put it on, let it dry, and then peel it off. It doesn't hurt or anything like that when you peel it off. It comes off very easily. The back has some more information. It says that it is a cooling skin crunching mask that gently peels away impurities that can cause skin to be rough and dull. Cucumber and aloe help soothe while moisturizing, ensuring skin feels soft and silky smooth after every use. Perfect for normal to combination skin. This is for normal to combo skin, just as an FYI. If you have like really really dry skin or really oily skin, I would maybe go for one of the other masks in there line that I may talk about in another video. It has the directions on there which it says to apply an even layer to clean a dry face, avoiding eye area, eyebrows, hairline, and lips, of course. And then you leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes or until it's dry and then gently peel off the mask from outer edges, rinse with warm water, use twice a week or as often as needed. So I've been using it three times a week for the past couple of weeks and I really have noticed a pretty a nice difference in my skin. I think it's just brighter and glowier after I use it, which is really, really cool. I really like that. So yeah, it is just a one-time package. It's just a one-time package, so you use all up all the product that's in here and then you just throw it away, the package away. I usually leave it on for the full 15 minutes just to like make sure that I'm getting all of the like nutrients and all of the as much out of the product as possible but if you're like in a rush it usually dries up between like seven and ten minutes it's usually dry and good to peel off I do like that directions do say to make sure you use put it on the dry face because there are some of these masks that don't say whether to put it on a dry or wet face. It just says to put it on a clean face. So I kind of just use my own, like, what I feel I should do, which is kind of annoying because then I don't know if I'm actually using it the right way. But this does make sure to let us know that we need to use it on, make sure our face is dry. It also smells really, really, really amazing. If you have, I think, from Bath & Body Works, their Cucumber Melon fragrance is a really popular one. I think it's retired now, so you can get it like only online, but a few years ago that was one of the most popular scents. If you've ever smelled that, that is exactly what this smells like. It smells really fresh and really clean, and it's just a really, really great scent. Sometimes I feel like masks don't have like the best smell to them. It has kind of like a medicinal kind of smell. But this one smells really, really amazing. It is a gel, so it has like that gel consistency, but I, it's not super sticky. I would say it's like, like it, when I go to like wash it off my hands, it's not sticky at all. It kind of just runs off my fingers when the water hits it, which is really nice. But it's not sticky. And it doesn't feel sticky when you're putting it on your face either. It, it's more watery. It's almost more syrupy, I guess than like a true gel it doesn't run off your face though by the way like it runs off my fingers only when i like hit it with water while before it dries but yeah then like i said it is very easy to peel this mask off it i know that that's like a thing lately with like peel off masks hurting it does not hurt at all when i pull this mask off and then after i peel the mask off i rinse my face with water just because when you peel it off you are left with in some spots, uh, mainly like around like my cheekbones, near my nose, that part does feel a little like sticky, like a little bit rough when I first take the mask off. So I have to just rinse it with water, with like warm water, 
or cool water and that feeling goes away and I'm left with nice glowy smooth skin and it's really really nice so yeah so there's you've got your has your ingredients on the back included they have a Facebook page and an Instagram and then they have their website listed that you can go to this product is made in the USA I would say my only complaint is that I wish that it came in like a bottle or something so that way I didn't have to buy individual packages for each use but that's really my only complaint with this other than that I really love this product so thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video